Well, it's not every day that you get to taste a recipe like the one that we're actually making today. Executive chef Kelly Hightower from Wild Salsa Restaurant is making pan roasted quail, but get this, it's got rose petal sauce. It's one of the featured items that'll be on the Valentine's Day menu at Wild Salsa. Welcome, good. it's good Hi. to see you, chef. Good morning. Okay, so you're using rose petals. We've got them right here, and these rose petals are actually one of the instrumental recipes, or one of the instrumental ingredients in this it recipe. Is. It is part of the ingredients. I'm gonna start this, this really comes together quickly. It's gonna be roasted quail. Okay. I've got this marinade. Why quail? Does it, does it absorb flavor? Is it just different? Well, Why did you choose quail? Quail is, is traditionally uh, part of the, the recipe for this. This recipe comes from the movie, like Water for Chocolate. Okay. Which is a very romantic movie. It's, it is with Valentine's Day is coming up. So we're gonna get the quail started. Now is this a recipe that is on your menu all the time or you're doing just for we're Valentine's Day? We're doing this Day? just for Valentine's Day. I love so that. So we're gonna get this thing started. So what have those um, quail been marinating in? They're marinating in uh, pink peppercorns, uh, a little oregano. It smells delicious herbs. already. It smells great. Okay, what's next? We're gonna put some cumin, a little ground cumin in just a pinch. Okay. Cinnamon is one of the key elements here, which Ooh. is kind of, this is a Mexican dish, okay? So we're doing butter. It's gonna finish the dish. That's a ton of butter, and I am okay with that. You okay with that? Butter makes right. it better, right? Exactly. Right, okay, now when do the, how do the rose petals come in? Do they actually have flavor, or is it more of an aromatic they do. They element? Do, they do have flavor, but the aromatic is what you're gonna really get at the end of this dish when we put the rose petals in it. Mm. You're really gonna get that aromatic, uh, the smells are just gonna be great. This now, quail, if we come to Wild Salsa, what is this served with? Actually, we would serve this with uh, some roasted potatoes, uh, like just a very chili, chili spiked potatoes. And if y'all haven't been to Wild Salsa, it's downtown mm -hmm. um, on Main Street, and it is just the environment is cool. The drinks are amazing. The menu is drinks phenomenal. Awesome. So it's it's a different spin on Mexican food, which I love. You're not getting like greasy spoon Mexican food. You're right. You're right. Exactly. It's a little more of interior Mexican. Okay, prickly pear puree. That Prickly is the fruit pear of the cactus. Puree. That's cactus fruit, okay? This is where we get a little sweetness for this dish. Okay. All right. And some color, too. All right. A uh, little minced garlic. Love me some garlic. Yeah, you're gonna get a great color of the prickly, prickly pear. Ooh, that's looking right. really beautiful. This, this quail, medium rare to medium is fine on this quail. Uh, most people think maybe you wouldn't want to cook it so, so lightly, but it, it overcooks so quickly. It smells so. delicious. When do the flower petals come in? I'm gonna have you add those right now. Oh, it's, it's so time. I just sprinkle them on? Just, yeah, just five or six of those right in there. Okay. We're gonna get the cook, Did you choose flavor. yellow for a certain reason? Do they taste different? They don't. I just contrast with the color we have here. But make sure you're using organic roses. You don't want any pesticides or anything like that, okay? Okay, or silk flowers. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right. Mm. Oh, this is looking good. And it looks really pretty for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. I'm gonna add just a little bit of chicken broth. This is thickening up a little bit. If it thickens up on you, just add a little chicken broth and you're gonna have a nice creamy sauce. I'm always so curious about chefs, how y'all come up with these ideas. I'm gonna take cactus juice and, it's I know it's not what it's called, good. it's called prickly pear or something, and yeah. rose petals and cinnamon, and I'm just gonna throw it all on top of some quail and just see what happens. And then it's it tastes amazing. How do y'all do that? Yeah. Your mind is on another yeah, level, you chef? Yeah, you dream about it at night, and then you wake up in the morning and write it down. I wish I had those kind of dreams. <laughs> I, I dream about margaritas and guacamole and men. Ah. John Stamos. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so do, where do I get ready. to taste this? I think we're almost ready. Okay. We're gonna garnish it up. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like my fork and knife ready to dive in. This oh is so gosh. beautiful, this Chef. This is looking great. Ooh. And then, and then we'll throw garnish. some more on there. We're gonna throw a little on here for garnish, just where you can see how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, this is too pretty. Such a perfect Valentine's Day dish. So beautiful, so tasty. What else are y'all offering on Valentine's Day? Are y'all doing any special menus or we, reservations? Do we, we have, need to know anything? yes, we do. We're having reservations for um, all throughout the whole weekend of okay. Valentine's Day, so.
Come in, get come your reservations on, on yeah, Come on down and try us out. I love it. Okay, well, I'm going to dive into this during the commercial break, but who would have thought that you could make um, a sauce with rose petals? I love this. Okay. Chef Kelly's going to stick around. He's actually going to make a dessert with us in the next hour. So if you want to get the recipes that we're making here today, don't forget to log on to our website. That's thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links. Um, and, oh, I can't wait to dive into this. It smells Where's so good. Fork? Okay. Are you still on your New Year's exercise plan? Are you doing it? Are you going to the gym? Well, now's the time to get re-motivated because February is actually American Heart Month. We found a, a fun way that's going to get you back on track. What's next?